Hello and welcome to creating a receivable or RE transaction for a one-time customer in AZ360. We will be demonstrating this process in one of our test environments and the screen has been zoomed in for optimal viewing. In our current training scenario, an agency receives a request to create an RE transaction to record $500 worth of services that the department provided to customer John Smith. The customer does not currently exist in AZ360. As a result, create an RE using the miscellaneous customer code so that we can enter the name and address for the customer in the system along with the transaction. To get started, we will create a new RE transaction. We will be moving rather quickly through these steps to conserve time and because they were demonstrated in an earlier, earlier tutorial video. So to get started, we'll navigate to the global search field, type in RE, select receivable from the dropdown. In the page that generates, we will click create in the top right. ADA is our transaction department. We will check off auto numbering and click continue. Okay, the new RE transaction will generate. On the header tab in the general information section, transaction description will enter the reason for the transaction. So in this case, one time services provided to customer John Smith. Okay, then we'll navigate to the vendor tab. In the vendor field, we will type in M-I-S-C-C-U-S-T-O-M for miscellaneous custom. In the billing profile, we will type in D-P-B-O-T. In the legal name field, because again, nothing will infer because there is no vendor code in this case. In the legal name field, we will enter the name of the individual, so John Smith. Okay, we'll click the expand caret and then we will complete the address information in the general information section. So in the address line one field, we will type in the street address for the um, customer here, 123 Main Street. We can either uh, click in the address uh, in the city field or we can tab over. In the city, we will type in Phoenix. In the state, we will go ahead and enter AZ for Arizona. And in the zip code field, we will enter 85003. Okay, we'll go ahead and click save. Well, first, before we click save, we'll click show more. And I want to uh, point out the miscellaneous account field. Notice that it's set to no, and this is a um, not an editable field, not something that users can manually update themselves. If you click save, the miscellaneous account updates to yes. And that is because we selected miscellaneous custom in the vendor field up here. So I did want to point that out. Okay, go ahead and click on the accounting tab. We will enter a new line by clicking the plus icon in the tab level action section. In the line amount field, we're gonna go ahead and enter 500. Our department is ADA. Our function will be BSD0019200 and revenue code is 4351. Again, we're leaving the remaining COA unfilled as we're using a function which will infer those values. Go ahead and click save. Okay, and then we'll validate to check for error. So go ahead and validate. And if you notice after validating successfully, the fund appropriation unit and unit have all inferred. So that's all coming from that function. Okay, and then go ahead and submit the um, transaction to your next line agency approver. And we have completed the process of creating an RE transaction for a one-time customer in AZ360. Go ahead and click home to return to the homepage.